food. Today is Remembrance Day. 11 of November. Let's do it forget. And it's a rather special day for us Whitmaners in the Veteran Surf Project. Woo! We just had a smoking ceremony with the local Aboriginal elders. After the surf, and I will be the pilots in our wetsuits, jackets, and medals. And then, after the minute silence at 11, we're going back out in the water to uh, do a uh, surfer's. to do a surfer's. Remembrance out in the water in circle. But I gotta get a couple of waves in first. Get excited. Yeah. Have just picked me up and took me. I wasn't even trying. I made it out the back. Okay, the big one's coming. Far part. Yeah, that was a big one. <laughs> oh. yes. Yes. Oh. Okay, I can edit that bit out. Mrs. Contact is on the beach, so I better put in a performance now. And since then, Australia has been cursed by war, but blessed by incredible men and women who step into the breach to help protect Australia. 
And as you look around, as, we, as I look around myself today, I, I'm seeing many of those faces of the men and women who have done wonders uh, for Australia. And in that process, whether it's been training, or whether it's been overseas on operations, we've seen, done, witnessed things that we probably would rather forget. Which brings us to where we uh, stand today in our unique ceremony uh, here at the Veteran Surf Project. Um, we got here, our journey here to this place has been an individual one, but a similar one. Each of us has needed somebody, has needed something from time to time to help bring us out of maybe the dark places that we were in. I know that I was in a pretty dark place before Chris Thomas dragged me along here after a, a one o'clock finish at work. And at 7.30 in the morning, I found myself standing here taking a surfboard and a wetsuit off Rusty and the guys. I'd like to actually uh, personally thank you guys for helping me on that journey back to, I'd say, relative norm uh, normality. Um, and uh, giving me a, a whole new family, a whole new bunch of uh, brothers and sisters who uh, I look forward to seeing every week uh, here at this beach. But we all also have our own stories uh, of friends that we've lost since we've come home. Um, something that we didn't think that we would do. Friends that we've had to say goodbye to, uh, who we, all, we came home with, and we thought that it'd always be there. Uh, a name that comes off to uh, the top of my head straight away is Matt Feather, uh, a helicopter pilot who I flew with uh, on many occasions. A great guy, a funny guy, um, who, for whom everything seemed to be going so well, so right. But one day the black dog turned around and took Matt from us. Um, for reasons that I'll never understand uh, and it's for him that uh, I'm here today and each of us has friends like that friends that we've lost since coming home so for them I'll recite the out now they shall grow not old as we who are left grow old age shall not weary them nor the years condemn at the going down of the sun and in the morning we will remember them, lest we forget. Lest we forget. We see the look on your faces when you turn up. Sometimes a bit like, oh God, they can't get any worse. And then when you come in from the surf and you're, just, you're fuzzing, it's like, mate, that energy transfers to us and just gives us so much gratitude that we actually are able just to facilitate the ocean and healing that takes place in the surf. So keep it up. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks mate. Thanks. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> <laughs>